What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of action going on in the Atlantic this morning. We now have Invest 95L that is organizing and developing in the main development region. It is expected to head towards the Lesser Antilles and maybe the Greater Antilles down the road. We'll have to monitor that. As time continues to go on, we'll go ahead and show you what we're looking at from the NHC. We now have a 70% chance of formation in the next seven days and a 20% chance of formation in the next 48 hours. So things are about to get real, folks. We also have Idalia, Gert, and Katia. So this, when it develops, is going to be Lee, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be our L-named storm. So we'll have to pay very close attention to it because the path that it's taking, and according to some of the models I am looking at, at least the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico are in some risk for some potential impacts. So we'll have to keep an eye on it for sure. But we'll go ahead and give you the summary right here from the NHC. A tropical wave located over the far eastern tropical Atlantic is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorm activity to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Environmental conditions appear conducive for some gradual de development of the system by the middle of part of next week. And a tropical depression is likely to form while it moves westward to west-northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour over the eastern and central portions of the tropical Atlantic. 70% chance in the next seven days 20 percent in the next 48 hours so we'll have to pay very 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 close attention to it as time continues to go on also alex baller who is a member of my tropical team on storms united sent me this uh, screenshot right here which says that as as, as of the recent ascat pass 95l already has a closed circulation so that's what we have going on I will tell you this right now. It's likely closed at least in the upper and maybe the middle uh, latitudes right there. Lower latitudes are what it, are what designate this as a tropical system. So definitely something to pay attention to. And we're already looking at winds of over 30 miles per hour, according to some of the wind barbs of, from the ASCAT Pass. So we'll have to monitor it for sure. But while we do, while we wait for the results of that, I want to go ahead and show you some of the satellite. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in on 95L. So that way you get a better idea if we can pull that up. Here it is, 95L. So this is what we got. The convection is a bit disorganized, but it is definitely there. We still just need to monitor it. It's going to take a few days for it to organize and develop. This is a multi-day process, most likely. It is moving through a little bit of wind shear right now, but that shear is forecast to weaken considerably. So please do keep that in mind as time continues to progress. We're going to go ahead and show you some model runs of what we have. Here is the European model, and things are getting pretty interesting according to what the uh, these models are saying. So here's the European in the next 48 hours, the system kind of takes its time to organize. However, by about three days out, things start to get its act together, and we do have a low-pressure system according to what the European is calling for, and then it starts to organize and develop and then strengthen further. By five days out, it's down to a 1,002 millibar tropical storm uh, right here as it's approaching the Lesser Antilles. Then it starts to organize and potentially strengthen further as we get closer to there. It gets down to a Category 1 hurricane just north of the Lesser Antilles, according to the operational model. And then it continues strengthening further. It gets down to a Category 2 hurricane by about 10 days out. We're going to, depending on how far west it goes, we'll have to watch this Bermuda slash Azores high we have right here. If it continues to build up at the way that some of these models are trending, then it's going to push the system further to the west, push it to more and more towards the Antilles, towards Puerto Rico, towards the Dominican Republic, potentially towards the Bahamas, and potentially towards the United States. But by the time it does get there, we're about like what? 12 to 14 days out, so just take that with a grain of salt. We're going to have to wait and see how this how this high plays out. So just remember this. Stronger than expected high equals the system pushes for, further towards land. The, uh, system, the high gets is weaker than expected. It stays out to sea. So this is the big uncertainty we have right now, and we'll have to monitor it as time continues to go on. Next one we're going to go ahead and show you is the GFS right here. Here is the 0Z GFS. And this has been quite the interesting run right here. The GFS has this thing organizing and developing quite a lot further to the south than the European is calling for, which is pretty, which is pretty interesting as we look through this because generally the GFS is more of a northward bias. Now it's pushing a little bit further to the south than some of these models are calling for. And the GFS has this system 
Potentially making landfall near Guadalupe as a Category 3 system moves through the Caribbean Sea, clips Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic before impacting the Turks and Caicos in the Bahamas, and then paralleling the east coast of the United States, potentially bringing the outer bands from Florida all the way to Virginia. So it's something to monitor for sure, but keep in mind, by the time it does approach the U.S., we're basically like, what, 12 days out? So take it with a grain of salt. We'll keep you updated here, but for now... This is fantasy land. Anything after seven days out is pretty much fantasy land. But even so, the GFS is still calling for a pretty strong system to at least hit the Antilles. So that's becoming a greater possibility as we look further into this. So here's the CMC right here. We're going to pull this up. CMC has a system organizing and developing by about five days out to Tropical Storm. Uh, seven days out, it's a hurricane. It moves just north of the Lesser Antilles right here, but it continues to push further to the west due to a stronger-than-anticipated Bermuda high. So we'll have to monitor it, but the CMC and the GFS are both calling for what is known by Weather Center Nazario as a triple barrel system, where we have three systems coming off the coast of Africa, and a lot of them are organized and strengthening at a pretty decent pace. So definitely something to watch for sure, but we'll have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go. We'll go ahead and show you the icon run at the zero Z to give you kind of a la last bit of understanding. The icon has been trending a bit more to uh, weaker because the 12 Z was having this as a major hurricane last night. Now it's down to a strong tropical storm. So there is some question about intensity right there, and we'll get to that in just a second. But for now, it looks like a lot of these runs are calling for at least hurricane strength. And that's what we have coming up with the European. In fact, I was talking with David Schlothauer last night on Instagram Live, and we were talking about how a lot of the ensembles, how about 40 uh, ensembles right there have that hurricane strength, and 20 of those have that major hurricane strength. Now, keep in mind, by the time that does happen, it's about, I'd say, a week out. So the chances of that happening do decrease due to the uncertainty with time. So definitely something to watch as time continues to go on. However, we're going to have to wait and see. We'll quickly go over what's working for and against these this development. We have the global sea temperatures right here, 28 plus degrees Celsius as we continue to move through, and even 30 degrees Celsius if the system pushes a little bit further to the south like the GFS is calling for. And even as it gets here and if it impacts Puerto Rico, definitely there's a chance for rapid intensification, and there's also a lot of OHC in that area, so we'll have to monitor it absolutely. Once it gets to the western half of the main development region, it's going to really ta uh, uh, take off, primarily due to the warm water, the OHC, and this factor right here, low wind shear. There is some wind shear in the eastern half of the main development region. However, by the time it gets to the western half, it should, in my opinion, have no issues organizing and no issues strengthening unless the, st it gets, the storm gets in its own way. So this is such a very serious situation. And we'll go ahead and very quickly pull up the European shear forecast to kind of give you an understanding of what, we, what we're thinking is going on. So here's the wind shear right here. Forecast to weaken in the MDR in the next 48 hours. And then after that, it's pretty much open season from here all the way to the Bahamas. So that's our main concern we have. And by the time it gets to the Antilles, there is a bit of wind shear that could impact it. However, that's going to mainly help with the out, uh, inflow and outflow. So we'll have to monitor it. If we go ahead and show you the moisture component, it's all in one big moisture pocket. So dry air could potentially be a reason why the European is uh, has it having this weakened compared to previous runs. But we'll have to monitor it as time continues to go on. There's a lot more information that's coming out, and we'll have to see what happens. We're closing the video out right here. Hope you enjoyed. It. I have a poll in my community post, so please go ahead and take the poll. I need your opinion on this. And the goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather, so be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.